Welcome to part three of my Blu-ray collection overview video. This is shelf five. Start with Phenomena. Steelbook from um, Synapse, also from Synapse Prom Night. Okay. Philadelphia Experiment. This is a German import. This is a Blu-ray inside this case. This was back when Fox was doing a really nice um, collector's editions of uh, some of the top titles. UK. This is a UK import. All seven films. I'm surprised why this hasn't been released in the U.S. It's uh, it's mind-boggling. Uh, I just don't, I can't figure out why. Um, okay. These are the, uh, Pirates Steelbooks. They're not in order, apparently. What was this? This was Dead Man's Chest at World's End. And Curse of the Black Pearl. And this is Stranger Tides. And I have a fancy... Um, import steelbook for uh, the last film. It's called Salazar's Revenge in Europe. I'm not sure what the, what the U.S. title is. That trick. Okay. Punisher. And that. And of course, pieces. I also have the Arrow version. Most of this video will just be me panning, uh, doing slow pans across uh, the the the, the uh, you know the covers and stuff, so you guys can just 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 take a look at them. Point Break, another um, Blu-ray case, Blu-ray in a DVD package. Uh, this is a. Uh, was a DVD steelbook, but there's a Blu-ray in there. The Proposition. Pitch Black. This is horizontal steel. Right. And uh, Phase 4 from 101 Films in the UK. Still sealed. My indie lanyard. Okay, and continuing on. Shelf six. Okay. This another Blu ray in here. This is the old uh, Vista series director's cut. DVD set back when Disney was doing collector's editions of uh, movies. Another Blu ray in the DVD package. I also own the Grindhouse version of uh, this, uh, this film and uh, the other one. Nice. German Steel of Pandorum. Really good film, by the way. Excellent flick. And I have several versions of Pan's Labyrinth. It's the Mondo Steel. And I think this is a UK exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. And I've got these beautiful kimchi DVD steelbooks All right so I'm trying to get that uh, lamp out of the way from the uh, glare give you guys a better right. so no. K 
Kimchi DVD, Steelbook Editions of Pan's Labyrinth. And continuing on, yep, I've got that possession collector set from Mondo Vision. I still have not watched the film. Get out of there. Okay, so there we go. Quiet Earth. I also own the Errol edition and a quiet place steelbook. If you guys want to see any of these uh, premium steelbooks, I, I'm, I'm just showing you the, uh, the slip boxes here. Um, doing this with one hand is not very easy, but hey, if you guys want to see the steelbooks, let me know and um, I'll make another. I'll, I'll, I'll make a separate video. Anything to help you guys, my fellow collectors out there. I picked that up recently. Part three, and another media book of the with the original artwork, and of course the second sight steel book. Love this film, as you can see. I, I enjoy all three films. Uh, two a bit less, but they're all fun in their own way. Uh, this is the Riddick Part 3 French Steelbook. Okay. Raw Meat, or Deathline, as it's better known as. And I've got this version of the final chapter. This is a steelbook in a slip box. Reservoir Dogs and Amando Edition. And the rest of this lineup. This is the remake, which was pretty good, in my opinion. So, continuing. So we've got uh, <clears throat> Repo Men, German Steel, an import of Raw Deal. This is just a regular Amory case in a slip box. A super cool version of The Revenant, it's still sealed. From Mantaleb. Nice, huh? And I also have this version. This is the one I'm, I'm using. So, steelbook in there. This should go together. This one's stuck. Red Sonya. And my Rambo set from Best Buy. Why are these sticking to my Blu-rays? Holy Moses. Yeah, these are my Rambo Blu-rays. I think these are Best Buy exclusives. If I'm not mistaken, yes. Okay, that's the first one. I'm not going to show you all, show them all to you because... I'm having a hard time getting them out of the box. And again, doing this with one hand <clears throat> is not easy. Um, but I tried. Again, if you guys want to see more in-depth, just, you know, 
uh, uh, videos, let me know. Red Heat, another import. I'm sure you guys have noticed that, that um, a lot of these U.S. films, uh, many of these editions are imports. And that's because <clears throat> the Euro Europeans and uh, the guys in South Korea and J Japan, uh, this is, this for example, is from Blue, Blue Fans. Uh, those guys have, have more vision than, um, than U.S. labels do. Uh, the, the only U.S. labels doing any, any fun work today is, is Vinegar Syndrome. They're doing really fun work with, uh, things like slip covers and things like that. And now they have a, um, the Beastmaster was, is their best looking, uh, set <clears throat> so far. Okay. And I like, I like when they come out with specialty packaging, packaging like this. Uh, here's another misplaced media book. This belongs here. <clears throat> Let me just move one out of the way. The thing, and the thing about this uh, collecting uh, movies is that you have to keep moving them around when you add stuff. That that can be annoying. That can surely be annoying. So yeah. And let me just show you one more. This is First Blood Part Two. These are really cool, and these are 4K discs. The movies are 4K. Let's see if I can show you all all of them. As long as I'm here, right? Just hope I don't drop any of these. Um, that's Rambo 3. This is Rambo 4. I don't think it's called 4. It's just, just called Rambo. John Rambo. This is John Rambo. And Last Blood which I disliked intensely. Just give it up, man. Give it up, Sly. It's over. Recognize, man. It's over. All right, moving on. Okay. Another misplaced. I have two versions each of both films. Raid 1 and Raid Redemption. Um, I grabbed the recent Arrow reissue. This is a Masters of Cinema release from the UK or Eureka. Uh, I cannot get rid of this steelbook, which is just, it, it would be a crime to get rid of it. So I'm just going to hang on to it. Another uh, Vista series Blu ray in the DVD set. Sky of Wall. This is JB Hi Fi ex exclusive Spectre. Right. Spectre from Blue Fans out of China. Yep. I ordered a UK edition. And Superman Ultimate Collector's Edition. This was um, originally in a tin case. I got rid of it because uh, it caught, uh, it rusted. And it looked kind of ugly. So I got, just, I just tossed it. All four films, and I believe Superman Returns. Cat's eye. Cat's eye. Sorry. DVD. A couple versions of Snowpiercer. There. Alright. 
Sabotage. I have two versions of Sabotage. The other one, I believe I may have de-shelved it, put it on the shelf somewhere, a different shelf, or in, even in the closet. These are the Walmart metal packs. I also have that version of uh, uh, Minority Report. All the Star Trek films. And the, uh, the remakes, which were fantastic. This is a French release. It uh, was originally in a type of hard box. Uh, I got rid of the hard box. Well, I didn't. Well, I just I removed the hard box and put it in the closet. And I'm just I'm just using this. This is a just give you guys a quick rundown. It's a beautiful little uh, digit book. Uh, with the U.S. disc inside, as you can see, it's in French, but <clears throat> it's okay. Um, it, sh it beats. I, I prefer this over the um, U.S. Uh, version, which just had just minimal liner notes. And this is a really nice set, and of course, the original French Blu-ray of the director's cut. So, excellent film. I'm glad that uh, Mr. Friedkin released it. Uh, it appeared to be lost or something, or unreleased for a long time. These, this is a 4K. It was this is, was a Best Buy exclusive, but uh, I stuck with, with a Blu-ray, but I stuck the 4K in there. And the bottom shelf, the dreaded bottom shelf, which is always hard to get to. Right there. Probably won't pull out any of those because of um, the impracticality of it. But there you go. That's Splash from the uh, from Australia, and Strange Days on Blu-ray from German Germany. That is a German Saw Steelbook. And another uh, premier collection import from the UK for Soylent Green, the Suspiria remake, which was which was excellent. Sicarios one and two, and premium steel. Uh, this was another. This was another one of those Fox collectors editions I was talking about. There's a Blu-ray in there, but that's a DVD set. And Sicario, and you know, I've got the lenticular version. Also lenticular of part one. All right, moving on to shelf six. I lost count. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, yeah, this this is shelf six. This is six. And these are <clears throat> my Scorpion releasing slip covers. They're, um, they've got their own section. I'm a big horror fan. As you may have noticed, it got a better angle. I'm a big, huge horror fan. It's not all horror. As you can see, we have the mechanic. Sci-fi, robot holocaust. More sci-fi and hardware. So it's not all horror. And 
Another one of my favorite 80s horror movies. Mortuary in a Black Case. Spirited Away is not from Scorpion. That was actually released by Shout Factory. And even though I have the Mia, Miyazaki set from, uh, from Amazon, I decided to get uh, the double dip for that because it's a beautiful set. All right, continuing. This is the star, my Star Wars collection. Right. I really enjoyed Rogue One and Solo. And up there or behind here is the my star is born in particular great film and my severin slip covers uh this is this is not my entire severin collection i've got uh, just the slip covers here in their own section and uh my regular uh, uh, cases are spread among the general population, as I call them. And my screen factory section. Again, uh, primarily horror, some sci-fi, but mostly horror, as you can see. Right. And A boy and his dog in a black case. I might, I'm going to be pulling out some of these, but not all. I've got Candyman and Car Carrie, also from Arrow. I've got a UK import of Class of 84 from 101 Films. Damnation Alley is one of my favorites. I'm glad that came out before the Disney takeover of Fox. All right, and uh, this is the end of part three of my collection overview video. I've once again run out of space. I will see you guys in the next video.